<laughs> so I was like, where do I want to start? I'll start over here today. I always turn it around so you guys can see the, the featured quilt of the day. Hi, hello. Let me turn it around. There we are. Pam got it done. Can you believe that girl? She always gets it done. So she had her butterfly the last time and now she's got the beetle. Yep, and it is a kit. Yes, it is. There it is. So nice to see you. Hi, Margie and Marsha and Candace. Hi, Marsha. Here's the kit. Those colors are so pretty. I still really like it. Hey, Linda, how are you? And Julie and Barb. I always feel like Romper Room. I know I say that every time, but I still do. I really do feel like Romper Room. Hey, Sue and Diana Barbie. How are you guys? What's going on? Hey, Susan and Linda. I'm back in the classroom. Oh my gosh. It's Wednesday at four from Quilt Beginnings in Dublin, Ohio. Hi, Kay. Sunny, I thought I'd show you. This is just the starting place. I know it is a beautiful day. It's warm. It's like sunshine. Summer's coming. Yay! I'm so excited. I'm so ready for summer. Love summer. Actually, I just went to California. I'll turn that. Whoops, turn it around again. Sorry. I'm a little, you know me, I'm impaired. Every time I try and do this, I get impaired. There's the quilt again. Um, but I just came back from California. My parents are 93 and 96. And it was 100 degrees out there and they are downsizing so i've been working with them to clean up their house and move to an independent assisted living which is very good so anyway that's our featured quilt for the day our latest sample in the store so good to see everybody i did want to show you another sample actually let me pull this one down i have a surprise back here i have to pull this one down oh poke the pins out flip it around check this out lisa got this done red white and bloom oh my gosh this is so adorable let me turn the lights on there is a switch this is the back this is how it works it? there's a switch in the pocket there's a special little pocket to put your switch you turn it on now watch this so cute look at that <laughs> oh my gosh fireflies does that not make you think summertime? Yes, go Lisa. So, so fun. And look at this, the lemonade. Life is sweet. I think those little lemons slices are adorable. This is a very three dimensional quilt. Can you guys see all that? Look at all the embellishments. Let me back up so you can get the whole deal. Family fireworks. Just in time, you girls need to get in and get it going because 4th of July is going to be here is fast. And before you know it, relish today, catch up tomorrow. Oh my God, that should be my life saying. I'm telling you what, this one also lights up, but I don't have it lit. And here's the embellishment kit. The embellishment kit includes the um, lights, which are so fun and all the rickrack and the vinyl and the pinwheels and the um, glitter sheets. And check out the truck. Oh my gosh. Look at the truck with this. That is super adorable. Even the sunglasses. Oh my gosh, that's a Coke bottle. I think it should be a beer. Oh, did I say that? All right. Super fun. So this is the red, white, and bloom. We do have the fabric and we have the embellishment kits and we also have, there's the embellishment kit again. And then we also have the book and pattern. There you are. It's always better in person though, the machine embroidery version. You could do this the old fashioned way. There's a version that's the sewing way as well, but, but why? why? <laughs> exactly, who would wanna do why? Who would want to do why? All right, I'm going to come back over here. I have a couple more little samples I want to show you before I introduce my special guest. Um, Libby just made this. Is this not the most adorable thing you've ever seen? It features that new, um, this fabric came in a little bit ago from uh, Hoffman, I believe. It's called Color Theory. It's so cute. And then this is the, um, the double-edged, 
actually it's a single edged. It just goes, no, it's double edged. Um, no, it's single edged. It goes one, the, the dripping is only on one end. And she used this pattern, the Wickstein, Wickstein Baby and Child. So, so cute. We thought this might be a good summertime class for you guys. If you like it, give me a thumbs up or say yes. Um, it's got a lot of little techniques in it. You can learn how to do facing, a little faced um, bias for the armholes, the binding around the neckline. It's got pockets on it. She's got some hemming, how to do a nice hem. So it'd be a great project if you want to get started sewing without taking on anything that's too big and too much. And if only, this is for her new, actually her six month old granddaughter. She made a size three T because I told her that make it big so we can have it for a little while. Cause it's so cute. It's so cute. Yeah, exactly. Maybe next summer, little Lizzie can have it. Maybe. Um, a couple other things that we got in this new cork. Oh my golly. The girls went crazy for the new cork. Yes, it's sparkly. Guess who likes it the best? Pam and Joyce and Libby and Jill and Lisa. Actually, I think all of them. I think everybody loved this. It's a great cork if you're interested in taking Pam's OESD um, reverse applique cork notebook. This is a class that's a $10 class that we have on our website that you can sign up and take at your leisure at home video class that Pam um, is teaching. It's a cork notebook color cover with a verse applique. And we just thought this cork would be so, so cute. It could be a wallet or a checkbook cover. Yes, Linda, it could be anything you want it to be. You can be anything you want it to be. But anyway, that cork just came in to go with that project. And then one more thing to tell you about before I introduce my special guest is the parabolic curves. This is all done with one ruler and by learning how to mark it and rotate your fabric and your ruler, you can achieve all these really cool designs. So this is a hands-on class with Libby Van Tries. She does a lot of our ruler work classes. This is not for someone who wants to learn how to do ruler work for the first time, but for someone who wants to learn how to really get precise with rulers. The class is June 3rd from 10 to 4. It's $40. And you'll just make these sample blocks. You can do whatever you want. There's an infinite number of ways to use these straight rulers and um, turn it into a quilt. So. Those are all my announcements for today. So now I'm gonna walk on over here and I'm gonna introduce you to Miss Pam. Hi everybody. It's great to be here with you at Quilt Beginnings. That's right. So <laughs> Pam is from, um, actually she's from, she's from Texas, but she is with Bernina and she is a champion of the new Bernina Serger. Yeah. So she's been here for the last couple of days um, actually training the staff. They got to do a super fun project. Let's see, here we have it. Ms. Pam, you want to show them their... So this little uh, pouch actually start the, the top of the bag is a ready-made pouch. So you do a zipper bag without putting in a zipper, which is kind of a cool technique. It's very cool. You touch, cut the bottom of the bag off and then make a new bottom. Yeah, you make a new bottom and you learn a bunch of different serger techniques. So we had some chain and cover stitching that we did on one side. And then on the other side, we did some pin tucks and flat lock stitching and piping and puffing. That's a so, lot. Oh my God, they did a lot. <laughs> so we will do something like this. We'll probably have a class like this this summer. Um, mm -hmm. Libby and Joyce and Pam and Jill all got to play on this new machine um, for two days, which they had a blast with Miss Pam and um, made a shop sample for us. So you can look forward to that sometime this summer and you can make it on any, uh, not any serger, but most sergers that have a cover lock and a uh, overlock. overlock. Right, you need right. both, both right. sides of the house. <laughs> yes, exactly. So. Both sides of the house yes. are, are used when you make this project. But you know, so many times we think about, and, and one of the programs that I've been doing is called coming off the edge creatively with your serger. And so many times we think about our sergers are just, oh, for finishing seams and doing some basic things. But you know me, I always like to do something fun and you extra. You are so creative. Love I think it. we should show, should we show them some samples first sure. so you can talk about the machine? Sure, 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 we can. So a couple of things that we've been doing. 
This is actually a tote, and I think the girls talked about maybe doing a class uh, with this pattern too. Yeah, this is it's, awesome. It's a great class and great pattern to learn different techniques. So we learned again some puffing here and doing some um, cross hatch stitching, so quilting if you're a quilter. And what I love about this too is that here we have, and I'm gonna bring this in so you can see. So on the 890 sergers, you have a nine millimeter wide stitch width. So that gives you a much wider stitch that you're going to be able to weave ribbons through and also use uh, much more decoratively. Wow, that's the... really cool. Those are, those are really cool. I'm gonna get really close yeah. on so they can see. Wow, that is awesome. Yeah, so the, that nine millimeter wide stitch for two thread stitching or three thread, four thread stitching is really kind of a, well, a cool thing to do. I thought one of the things I thought was really cool about this too is instead of, this was from a Bernina bag that yep. Pam had, but yeah. you could also start with a t-shirt. And I said yeah. that would be, we were talking about that, make a great <laughs> tote to feature a t-shirt on the bag and then do some of the decorative elements right. with it as well. Really yeah. good. Yeah, so All that's right. kind of a fun and kind of unusual. You know, sometimes we always do the same things over and over, and this is a great way to kind of upcycle items that you might already have. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Cool. Okay, here's another one, which incorporates both sides of the house. I like how Kathy said that. Where <clears throat> we've actually taken strips of fabric and then we've gathered them using the differential feed and a chain stitch. So instead of having your stitch kind of uh, slide out as you're reattaching it, a chain stitch gathering is going to hold it in place much more securely so that you don't push out the gathers when you're reattaching. That's decorative, really cool. Some decorative stitching too with your chain stitch. And then making, I love to do this. Is make, that is so cool. I love that with it. And you can feature so many decorative threads and colors. Yeah. And it yeah. looks just like it's a woven plaid, but it's all thread. It's really cool. And what we did on here, and the, and the, the students that came to class and uh, this afternoon, as well as uh, the other days, the dealers that came in, we talked about thread blending. So taking more than one thread and putting it into your looper at a time. Oh, which is cool. Is, Can't do that on the sewing machine very well. Yeah. Definitely need a serger for that. Definitely need to do that. And, yeah. And by blending your threads together, it just kind of gives you a different look. Right. And it makes it almost like the size of a yarn or something. Yeah. It makes you mm -hmm. have, it, it's much more impactful. Right. Excellent. Yeah. You want to show some more? What do we got there? One. Got one more over here. Oh, okay. Whoop. All right. Here's, this is a great one. This one is actually a little crate that is a pattern from Deb Canham. And I love, again, the ability to show you the difference in the width of the stitch. So nine millimeter wide stitch width with an eight weight thread That's is impressive. just really impressive. And this is seven and a half. So you can see the difference between the widths of the stitch and maximums on the different machines that That's are really available. fun the way you wove it too. Did you make that pattern up? Oh, I love it. No, yours. this is one of Deb Canham's. Oh, yeah. oh, oh I Deb. Deb yes. Canham, and she does some such lovely patterns. She does, and she has a really active Facebook group too. So if you want to know more serger techniques, uh -huh. Deb Canham would be a great person to start serger following. Serger Sanity, I think. Yeah, Serger called. Sanity, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yep, she's mm -hmm. got great projects. Yeah, yeah. And, and all are designed specifically for overlock and serger stitching. And sometimes we need that extra little boost in order to kind of get our creative side going. And then you can leap off and add those stitches in different places that are traditional patterns. Right, excellent, very yeah. excellent. Well, why don't we talk about the machine? I'm gonna okay. go ahead and put the camera on it. All right. So you can see, you know what, let's do it this way. I'm gonna flip the, hello everyone. I'm gonna slip the camera around. All right. And then we'll put it this way so Pam can see. Okay. All right. That's good. So when what we're looking at, this is the uh, Bernina L890 machine. It's the newest machine in our line. And when you first look at it, you might be wondering, well, wait a minute. Am I even really looking at a serger? Because it does have this computer screen. And the great thing about this screen is it's not just an advisory screen it actually changes all of the settings in your machine so you don't have to make those changes or think about what you need to do. 
a couple of cool features that we're going to point out for you under the little home icon is that with surging, so many times we are fearful of making changes to the machine because we don't know how to move from one stitch to another. So on here, you're going to find that there's guided and expert mode. So if you're not sure how to move from one stitch to another or how to set something up, you can use this guided mode. And I love to call this the GPS of sewing <laughs> because it takes you from the stitch that you want to be on to the stitch that you're wanting to go to. So I was on an overlock and if I wanted to go to a narrow cover stitch, right here it's going to take you through step by step on how to move to that narrow cover stitch. So if you can read the information on the screen and do it, it's going to lead you through step by step, even unthreading your machine, what foot to use, pressure, which is adjusted on the top of your machine right there, <clears throat> needle positions. And what I love is you see that there's these little uh, video cameras that are there. And when you touch that, it's actually going to show you in video form how to, in this case, change your needles. You'll notice that on that little video, it showed that the presser foot tipped out of the way too. So it makes it very easy to access your needles and insert them. <clears throat> that is really cool. I did not realize that it went from your previous stitch to your yeah. current. Yeah. That's incredible. Does it remember where uh -huh. you are? Yeah. Wow. So it, it has temporary altered stitch memory, just like all the Bernina sewing machines do. But it also, if you turn your machine off, it's going to always come to the last stitch that the machine was set on. Very cool. Yeah. Very, and very cool. It isn't, uh, when, when I first started working with it, I'm like, oh, that guided mode is really cool. But then when I realized it took me from wherever I was last, to wherever I wanted to go, I'm like, oh, this is even cooler. <laughs> that is really cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. Because we sometimes leave our machines setting set at different set, set steps or settings, and we don't remember where we were. Exactly. Exactly. And like most sewing machines, actually, when you could maybe override them to go to your last stitch, but a lot of them just go back to straight stitch. Right, right. No default settings. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So that's really yeah. cool that it remembers where you were. Amazing. Yeah. So it'll take you through completely to the point of setting your machine, all of the different settings as a reminder, even if there were if there wasn't a change that was made, the reminder is going to be there. So it's like a double check That's to make cool. sure. Now, when you thread, all of your threading shows you again right on the screen, but there's what's called one step Bernina Air threading. So instead of having to take your thread and kind of push it down into a threading port or path, we're just simply going to take the thread and I'm just gonna snap it in that snapping thread guide. And because my needle always stops in the highest position, when I'm ready to thread, I just simply turn this little lever and it's all engaged. I don't have to turn anything else. So I then just step on the foot pedal and you hear that little hum. All I have to do is rest the thread above and it just pulls it right wow, through. Wow, that was fast. It's so no fast. No putting it in the hole at all. Nope, you just hover it over and it just pulls it all right through and it pulled this much thread. Oh all my the way gosh, the can you do that machine. again? Because I'm not yeah. sure I was, I'm gonna get closer to the right port. Okay. Okay, here she is. So this is the chain looper and I'm just going to push on the foot pedal, hover the thread, let it go, and it goes all wow. the way Wow, it's like instant. That yeah. is, that's really and cool. And you can also do a decorative threads, and you can do like a, a texturized polyester thread, even one that's a little fuzzier, oh. it'll just pull it right Oh, that's through. awesome, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. What else do you love about this machine? Well, what I love is that so many times we talk about surging and we talk about how fast you can sew, right? But on surging, we very seldom talk about precision stitching. And what I love is that with our Bernina foot control, you have precision. So 
can you get the needle and the foot pedal at the same time maybe can we get that over just a tiny bit this way yep okay so if i step on the heel of my foot pedal my needle let me finish setting that up so now when i step on the foot pedal the needle is going to go down finish setting up okay so it'll go down Oh, I have to close up my... It's safety. safety. It won't let you go safety. without it being closed. It's smart. That's right. Protects us from ourselves, I yes. always say. So now your needle will go down and up one half stitch at a time. So if you're going around corners or you're going to go around a curve, you can pivot just like you do on your sewing machine. And I love the fact that it has that step-by-step step or stitch-by-stitch stitch accuracy, not only can we sew 1,500 stitches a minute, but you can sew stitch-by-stitch stitch right. if need be. Very, I, very cool. I love that. Yes. Another thing really nice that I've noticed is just the space. The throat space is really yeah. nice. Yeah. You have a five and five-eighths of an inch of space there, and it has a free arm. So when you're stitching... And an add-on table. And the, the add-on table that comes with it, but the free arm that's there, it gives you uh, access when you're sewing around in small areas. It has that big open space. And one path threading is a real big feature because you're not having to redirect your threads in different positions for different stitches. Right. So all the time, if I'm doing a cover stitch or an overlock stitch, I'm going to follow the same thread path. I don't have to move it to a different position. That's really cool, too. Yeah, that muscle really memory. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, so it's... I love, love the fact that we were able to spend some time together here the last couple of days and be able to also share with all the rest of you all the great things that we have now on the Bernina Surgeons. Yes, all right. Well, I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions or you want to come play on that machine, you know we have them here in stock. And um, we actually have some specials because Pam was here that are good through Saturday. Mm -hmm. So we'd love to have you come visit us and um, look forward to some really cool Serger projects coming in the future. And um, just want to say thank you, Pam, for You're joining welcome. us. You're and, welcome. Uh, Great to see all of you. I saw some familiar names there on the on the, the Facebook the bead, Live. Yeah, so that's, that's really exciting to be able to see all of you again, too. Awesome. All right. So we'll see you guys soon. We're finally getting to, I want to say one more thing just about COVID and masks. Pam and I both happen to be vaccinated so we can be in the room together without our masks on. We are still fully masked in the front of the store um, and will be um, until June 2nd, at which point we will stay tuned for more information. We are definitely evolving. We're working, uh, wanting to abide by the CDC recommendations and the state recommendations, but I think we're getting really close. So just bear with us a little longer and um, pretty soon we'll all be a little more normal. Anyway, love you guys. Good to see you. See you next week. Bye. Bye.